The thing that people always struggle with is actually knowing what to measure and what to track in order to know that you're making progress. And a lot of people who are wanting to lose weight measure their progress by just how they think they feel or what they see in the mirror. Now our eyes can be extremely deceiving when we are looking at ourselves. We can never see the progress that we're making if we look in the mirror. And so we need to be really critical in how we are measuring our progress. And there are really three kind of core parts of measuring progress that I use with our clients. And we use it in a way that isn't to, um, it, we use it in a way to create predictability so that we can absolutely know how much progress they are making in order to move them forward. Okay, so one of the progress trackers that we use is body weight. Okay, when you use your body weight as a progress tracker, you're able to identify trends in weight shifts. Okay, so if you see a downward trajectory of your weight, then you know that you are losing body fat, right? And the way of understanding that is by using scales as a tool to gauge progress. Now, let me caveat that by saying the scales don't tell the full story. Okay, there's many things that can affect your scale weight, being sodium, if you've had salty food, being stress, hormones, sleep deprivation, illness. So there are many factors that affect your weight, but by using it as a baseline, as something to measure against, you can better have control over your progress. The second thing to use is measurements. Okay, Taking circumference measurements of the main places being your shoulders, your waist, your hips, your arms, your thighs, and measuring as infrequently as possible. So what I mean by that is not taking your measurements every day because you aren't going to see that level of progress on a, on a daily basis within the measurements, but taking them every month. And we use this with our clients to gauge the places that they are wanting to see progress in and being certain that they are seeing results, you see. Because like I said, the scales don't tell the full story. The, sta the scales will give you some of the information you need but then you need to take your measurements so that you can see that the places that you want to change are actually changing. And this is especially true if you are a woman who is trying to lose weight because the scales can play against you a lot more than men. So using your circumference measurements is a great way, a great tool to gauge your progress. The third thing to measure and to use as a tool of gauging your progress is pictures. Because when you take a picture, you can see clearly what is happening within your body. You can see the changes. And it's not your eyes deceiving you um, because you are creating apparent, you, you're creating the reality by putting pictures side by side and able to look and identify changes in your body. And when you do that, it's going to recreate that motivation when you are seeing progress, right? Because most people give up early because they don't think they are seeing progress, even if they are. But because they're not using these tracking parameters, they give up because they think, not without any, without any evidence, that they're not making progress. So if you see in pictures that your body is changing, it's going to motivate and encourage you to keep going with that plan, right? So. Just like in a business trying to, be, to, trying to be profitable, you would measure your numbers, your sales, your leads, you'd measure your, your costs, you'd measure everything so that you can gauge the progress of a business. Treat your body like it's your business and track and measure your progress, right? Because so many people give up early simply because they just aren't using the right tracking parameters. They're hoping and guessing and thinking that they're making progress but not actually knowing and ever since um, the clients that have come into our program have started to use these tools they're able to see and know for sure that they are making progress and create predictability and consistency with their results so if that was helpful and if you'd like to learn more about how to track your progress in order to create consistency in your weight loss and in your energy go and check out my free masterclass go to thebodyconcept.com forward slash masterclass as thebodyconcept.com forward slash masterclass and i share the, the tips and the strategies to, to actually make this stuff actionable so you can actually lose weight and create predictability and sustainability
because that's the that's the ultimate goal right is to not just lose weight but main, maintain your weight loss maintain keeping the weight off um, and when you use these tracking parameters when you measure your progress you can create more consistency in how you feel and you can stay in control of the progress that you are making Thank you.